the 33-year-old high-stakes poker player, venture capitalist, risk-taker, recent actor, and undoubted Playboy King with a net worth of a staggering $100 million it's easy to see why everyone is talking about and infatuated with Dan Bilzerian. But underneath the flash and the beard is a guy with quite a past, and not one he talks about often. Hello Brewers, we are back again with another exciting video. Today, we'll be listing the top 12 facts you didn't know about Den Bilzerian. Here are some lesser-known facts about Den that you may not have heard before. Number 12. Self-proclaimed Bill Gates of Poker. He's the self-proclaimed Bill Gates of poker playing and having won over an astonishing $50 million through poker playing alone, and with a notable win of $10.8 million in a single night, it's no doubt that he truly is the Bill Gates of poker. However, for Dan, it's not about the money or the cars. He says, it's all about the freedom and being able to do whatever it is that you want to do. Number 11. He was arrested in his senior year. He was arrested in his senior year for having a machine gun in his car on school property. Always for the love of the guns, isn't it Dan? He owns 97 guns and has a loaded gun on display in every room of his mansion in Hollywood Hills that he leases for $35,000 a month from Jit Lying Wong that happens to be one of Singapore's richest men. Number 10. An ex-Navy SEAL. He was enlisted in the Navy for four years where he spent 510 days going through grueling Navy SEAL training but a few weeks before graduation he got kicked out of the program after having a dispute with one of his administration officers which lead to him being honorably discharged. He then enrolled in the University of Florida where he majored in business and criminology. Number 9. Had two heart attacks before 30. He had two heart attacks before the age of 30 and it's no surprise why he lives his life to the fullest and seizes every moment. After five days of partying, snowboarding, gambling, crazy sex, sleep deprivation, consumption of cocaine, and the introduction of 200 milligrams of Viagra, Dan had his first heart attack on the fourth day and while he was in hospital he was treated by Michael Jackson's doctor, Conrad Murray, who coincidentally treated Dan's grandfather a year prior where he passed away from a heart attack in the same hospital. Twelve hours later, Dan had his second heart attack in the hospital but luckily he survived and after two weeks of recovery, he was as fit as always. Number 8. They're for his friends. Den once invested $2,000 in his personal friend and fellow poker player, Jay Farber nicknamed Panda, who finished second in the 2013 WSOP main event and scored $5.1 million of which he gave Den $1 million and a goat in return for his $2,000 investment. Dan said that he can't just have one goat so he got a second and now he's the proud owner of two goats which he says are, pretty awesome animals. I couldn't agree more and come on, owning a goat would be awesome. Number 7. He was asked to pay back his winnings because of a poker fraud. There's at least some evidence to show that Bilzerian was indirectly involved in a Ponzi scheme set up by Bradley Ruderman in 2009. Two years later, when Ruderman was jailed for running illegal gaming operations, Bilzerian was one of several competitors asked to pay back his winnings in full. Number 6. Dan supports Donald Trump. Dan Bilzerian has always been anything but shy about his love of guns and firearms in general so it makes perfect sense for him to endorse the presidential candidate that shares almost the same views about gun control or lack of it, for that matter. The presidential candidate in question, you have probably guessed it by now, is Donald Trump. Dan met with Trump at the Trump Tower a few days ago and following the meeting he had the following to say on his official Instagram page, in an age of pacific political correctness, you have to respect the people who remain unfiltered, Donald Trump. Dot. Number 5. Bilzerian is Armenian. Whether he likes it or not, he is related to the Kardashians. Not as a relative but through his descent. In an odd and surprising twist of fate, it turns out that both the Kardashians and the Bilzerians are of Armenian descent. Much like the Kardashians, his family was also impacted by the tragic and devastating horrors of the Armenian genocide. Number 4. His father is a convicted criminal. Paul Alec Bilzerian was once a celebrated corporate takeover specialist, until he was arrested, and convicted for securities fraud in the mid-80s. He was also largely absent from his son's formative years, infamously jetting back from a life spent largely abroad to sue Dan's little league team for slander over a $5,000 donation. When Dan was 10, Paul broke the news to his son that he was being sent to jail. Number 3. Dan Loves Cats. Although he presents an image of toughness and masculinity, Dan does have a soft side, too. 
He owns a few pets, but his favorite ones are two cats that travel with him everywhere he goes. One of the cats even has its own Instagram profile. Number 2. Movie cameos don't come for free. While Bilzerian has appeared in a handful of movies, his most controversial appearance to date was when he pitched up in Lone Survivor in 2014. Having invested in the movie to the apparent tune of $1 million, Bilzerian filmed around 8 minutes of screen time and 80 words of dialogue. However, his role was cut in the editing suite to just one line, the legend, what's going on? After the movie hit the silver screen, Bilzerian's reaction upon seeing his screen performance minimized to a mere three quizzical words obviously didn't sit well. This preempted a lawsuit from the bearded Bilzerian demanding $1.8M, until the film's budget of $40 million yielded a box office return of $154.8 million, meaning Bilzerian had a profit on his investment. The lawsuit, just like many of Bilzerian's lines in the movie itself, was dropped. Number 1. T-Pain wrote a song about him. Everyone has a desire to be immortalized in music, don't they? From desiring a loved one to compose a concerto in our name to being included in a rapper's smack-talking track. Well, possibly. Featuring Lil Yachty, a name to set sail to if ever there was one, the song includes the legend. Well there you have it, Brewers, 12 interesting things you probably didn't know about Den Bilzerian. We hope you enjoyed this video. Check out Dollar Brew for more exciting videos. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more exciting videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.